Hi everyone. Yeah, welcome. Hey Michael. Hey. hey. Good to see you again on Adobe Live. Uh, we will have uh, two awesome days live from Berlin. Yes. Yeah. We meet everywhere, everywhere yeah. around the world. Yeah. But it's it's our first time in Berlin. Yes. Yes. We are live from the awards conference. So what is awards? It's a www. Uh -huh. it's awards. 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 And uh, it's super easy to pronounce for me. <laughs> uh, it's an awesome conference all about uh, web design, UX design trends. And you have all the actors gathering in uh, Berlin from all around Europe with amazing speakers, including Michael Farup. Hi, guys. <laughs> I'm the first one. Yeah. Uh, we get to open the show. Yeah, and then I, the I'm show. giving a talk later. I'm the last one. Oh my God! Yeah, so it's, so it's kind of like a full day thing. And we live for two days uh, from Berlin. Uh, I see uh, Dietmar in the chat, Matthias, uh, Hadif. Uh, yeah, so don't hesitate to ask questions. Yes, uh, Mikael, it's awards. Awards. Yeah. So, and we have. Uh, we wanted to give you the opportunity to uh, engage, meet all these awesome speakers. So that's why we travel to Berlin. Uh, we have Tim in the chat. He's with us uh, right here in this room, actually. Hey, Tim. Hey, Tim. And uh, we, let's review the schedule of the day because we have awesome speakers. So we will start one hour with Michael and every hour we will have a new speaker. So it will be super intense today. We really want you to ask questions to our guests. Then we will welcome uh, Studio Adoratorio, uh, one of the cutting edge uh, web studio. Uh, they are from Italy. They actually designed the awards website, oh. uh, which is like uh, very nice. <laughs> which is super nice. Uh, and uh, fully responsive. I was really amazed. Yeah. Uh, then, uh, and uh, Rufus will be hosting. So Rufus is with us also in Berlin. Then Tobias. So Tobias, he was the lead designer of Spotify. Oh, yeah. Which is yeah. one of my favorite app. And uh, really at the origin of Spotify. And now he works for uh, Minecraft. Uh, but he has a unique point of view on uh, experience design, how to bring emotion. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this interview. Then we will come uh, Jenny Engo, who is from, from San Francisco. So it's yeah. funny that we meet here. Airbnb. Yeah, and uh, she used to work, yeah, she worked for Airbnb. Yeah. And she will share her experience there. So it's quite a big deal. Then uh, Irina, so Irina is, uh, is an artist. Like she's an artist. And we will try to do something uh, crazy. So we will talk about experiences, but she also works with uh, developers. And uh, we will try to run some project, actually. Uh, using a Kinect and I'm oh, supposed nice. to dance and something will happen. So yeah. When is so, that? Oh, you want to be there. Yeah, I know. I want to be there. It will be at 2 p.m. Awesome. Central 2 time. Ah, okay. uh, so if you want to watch me dancing, cool. make sure to be with us at 2 p.m. Who doesn't want to watch that? Yeah. I mean, come, <laughs> on. come on. That's, uh, that's unique content. And then the Moritz. So I wanted also to feature and highlight uh, local UX designers from Berlin. And Moritz it's is one idea. of them. So he will join us and he will work live in Adobe XD. Okay. Uh, because also, of course, this week is an opportunity to feature Adobe XD. It stands for Experience Boom. Design. Boom. Huge logo around us also. Uh, maybe we can show the GoPro just for a few seconds. Okay, you will see the GoPro. That's us, but that's not the point. <laughs> so that's uh, the conference and we have an XD booth. There is Tim there. Hey Tim, you can say hi. Right there, Yeah. look at that. Yeah, okay. And that's the team, awesome team that we have this week. Yeah, thanks for being with us and, uh, and uh, being live. Okay. So, Michael, uh, yeah. let's talk about you. Uh, if you want to introduce <laughs> yourself, maybe what you're doing and uh, your unique take on uh, yeah. experience design in general. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, my name is Michael uh, and uh, I'm a designer. I do many different things. Yeah. It's usually uh, an hour long introduction. We're going to skip all that. But <laughs> the, the main thing is that I've been a visual designer for many years mm -hmm. and uh, I run a few companies. One of them is uh, a game studio in uh, Copenhagen called North Play, which is sort of my, my darling, my baby. We make video games. Ooh. Ooh. And, I, and you, you know, I started out, I've done, I worked on lots of products and, and been a product designer or visual designer for many years. And, and my, as, as, as web as uh, app design became more and more boring, I <laughs> I, I escaped to UI design and, and art direction in games. Um, and we have some video game players in the chat. I Yay! See Daniel. So yeah, let us know in the chat uh, if you play video games and what are your favorite p video games. Uh, everyone, everyone plays uh, video games. What type of platforms? Well, uh, mobile uh, games well, uh, I mean, obviously we have a lot of experience with mobile games, mobile, but uh, okay. but but we also uh, make actual computer games. For we have a Steam oh. release out. Oh, and Steam. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. It's yeah. a big deal. So a little bit of it, a little bit of, of everything. Uh, we have Sarkis in the chat saying, "I'm a big fan of your work." Oh, thank you, thank you very much. Thank awesome. You. Yeah, we're very lucky to have uh, and uh, Super Mario World for 
<laughs> on the SNES. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I played that as well. Yeah. yeah. So I agree. I agree. That's cool. So yeah, I do. I do a little bit of everything, and I guess it was kind of fun when you asked me, Michael, to to join <laughs> the stream. Uh, I to work with Adobe XD because. Uh, if the people who, who might have been following me for, for a while, they know that I am maybe the most Photoshop guy. I, I have the yeah. highest tier of Photoshop that I can get. <laughs> this is my, I, 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 yeah. I spend maybe eight or 10 hours in Photoshop every day. Every time um, we have a new release of Photoshop, we make sure that Michael can run it because he's the most advanced I've actually user. been to the Adobe uh, headquarters since in I SF know. and, and, yeah. and uh, given feedback on Photoshop. That's how much I love Photoshop. Um, so so it was yeah, kind of I wanted to change Michael because I said, yeah, I know you work on UIs and you have this new tool. So he's a perfect example of someone who really masters Photoshop. And uh, it would be one of the first time you would be using XD like live yeah. with us. And it would be interesting to see. Uh, and I can give you some tips also if, because I guess you don't oh, know yeah. all the oh, I don't possibilities know. I, and the shortcuts. The, we're going to call this a noob tries XD. Yeah, the noob. That's the noob. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, I've met some wonderful people that actually work on XD. So I'm kind of terrified now because I, I, I kind of internet know them. And they're like, ah, oh, Michael's going to try XD. Um, and we have Lars, she's a fan of Secret of Mana. Wow, you remember oh, yeah, game? yeah, that's wow. a, one of the best RPGs of yeah. all time. <laughs> this is great. And we will do also, uh, by the way, some giveaways. Okay. So we will give away, uh, if we quickly switch to my screen, this is something that we started. And actually, I've just saw, saw someone who were, he was uh, watching Adobe Live and he shared it on Twitter saying, thanks for sending the XD socks. So we have official XD socks. I can't. You don't have no, no, you don't have the oh, XD socks. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So you will see, like, once you wear the XD socks, you become a better designer. Gosh, damn it. And I, why XD didn't you give me these before the stream? I know. <laughs> I know. Um, it's so exclusive, you know? Yeah, yeah. I, I uh, so tell. we will do some random giveaways. Uh, just be active in the chat. If you're watching us, make sure to be on behance.net slash live and uh, sign in and say hi. Just say something, okay? And uh, it can happen at any time. We do a random anytime, so we will see. Stay tuned. Okay. Okay. Let's switch through your screen, maybe. Yeah. And sure. talk about your work. Yeah. Sure. Um, yeah. We're not going to spend too too long on this. I, I want to dive in and try some stuff. But is my screen show? Yeah, it's showing. Yeah. So this is our small uh, game studio, North Play. North and, Play. Uh, Good name. Yeah. It's fun. Uh, we, uh, where are you from? Yeah. Maybe. Uh, well, sorry. I'm I'm from uh, Copenhagen, Denmark. Yeah. Yep. So, Just ask Play. questions. Yeah. Just <laughs> <laughs> uh, we uh, and we have uh, David Marin watching for Finland. Nice. And this is awesome because uh, I'm super excited because this is a stream at uh, European hours. Yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. So There's going to be no Americans Europe. in the stream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, so we, we made a, a bunch of things, but one of our, the first game that we actually made was called Conduct This, which started as a mobile game. And uh, we, we worked with uh, a bunch of other clients and, and made oh. some things for them. We have sort of a nice little Very nice website. website, yeah. Uh, oh, I love the, wow, what you... How did you do that? Uh, Is that's the video? That's video. Yeah, oh that's a God. looping video in the back. So good. Anyways, um, so just to sort of set this up, I've prepared something for today. I, I've, I've opened XD once yesterday evening. So just to make sure I came <laughs> very well prepared. <laughs> you can launch it on uh, the computer. But, uh, but I thought that uh, so so yeah, I'll set this up. We 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 launched this uh, mobile yeah, game. Yeah. Conduct this. With people uh, from Vienna, Scotland. <laughs> They're like Romania represented. Yeah, yeah. everyone's representing. Sweden. It's, I feel like it's like Israel. Uh, wow, it's yeah. so. It's the, oh, it's the Grand Prix. David says uh, from Israel, I hope my boss would catch me watching this. Yeah. Oh. You can minimize the wind. Yeah, yeah just make it real small. Yeah, real. Anyway, so we, we made this game and uh, it, it became a, a huge hit. Uh, we have I played this game, actually. It's, it's I a, loved it. It's a good game and it's free to, to play. So uh, conduct, you can just, it's, uh, it's for iOS and Android. You can go and, and check that out. Anyways, we actually ended up making, uh, when, when uh, AR Kit came out, we were like, hey, we should see if we can turn it into an AR game, augmented reality, right? Whoa. And we tried and we failed. We couldn't. It was just, <laughs> it was just too hard, right? Nice try. Yeah. But then we, uh, we actually ended up creating a standalone game. It was called Conduct AR. It's a completely separate game from the original okay. game. So that, that was game number two. And then uh, we had so much success with this game and people really loved it. They wanted to play it on their computers. So you're like, oh, we should make a, a, a computer version of this game, uh, which we ended up calling Conduct Deluxe, which has a level editor and stuff like that. Anyways, this, is the ch this was the design challenge. We All of a sudden, we had like these three games in the franchise that we had to communicate. We had to create a website for them, right? Uh, to explain the, the yeah, difference, it, it, the story. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And if you, if you, ch you can go to conductthis.com if you sit in uh, at home and you want to check out the site that we're going to try to recreate in XD. So I thought I'll, the, the, the thing is, I'll just show you the site here real quick and then oh. I'll show you my Photoshop files and then and we'll like try to you, make it in re. I like what you did with the Deluxe. 
It's Deluxe. Like, uh, it's Back to the Future. <laughs> yeah, I love stuff like that. It's, I don't think you have to look at a lot of my work to see that I'm sort of like an '80s kid, and I love glows and textures and tactility. Anyways, the, the site's pretty simple. It's like a one pager. Um, uh, and we have a uh, Joel Oliveira watching from Angola. So yeah, and uh, Katrina from Qatar. Hi Africa. Awesome to nice. meet you. And uh, Hafid from Indonesia, and and we have Angel from Nepal. Wow. Okay. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, let's Worldwide, yeah, yeah. shout it out. A lot of countries. Yeah. So so you basically have these three main sections. There's some mm -hmm. nice stuff going on. There's a little bit of hover and it says what platforms the game is for uh, and um, and sort of it gives an introduction video for each of them and a little mm -hmm. bit of text and some, uh, some screenshots. And um, what I thought we'd do was try to recreate this in, in XD okay, and yeah. see me fumble around and, yeah. uh, and, and maybe we can nice get around the, for our users. Yeah, I think if, if you've never tried XD, this is probably uh, a good place to uh, look at someone who's also never tried XD. If you've tried XD and you're really good, you can laugh at yeah, me and it's going to be, it's gonna yeah, be so real good. It's so bad. Yeah. I can start by showing, I, I thought I'd start by showing my Photoshop file, oh. right? Because uh, <laughs> this is the world that I come from. This is the old world, right? Um, and uh, oh my God, look at that. this is uh, pretty much how I design stuff in Photoshop anyways. Um, Whoa. This is one of the prettier files that I have. Let me just, uh, you guys can see this, right? So I've set up a grid here um, that I like and that I use. Uh, and, uh, and then I, I, I organize everything in folders. <laughs> They're like, look at all those guides. <laughs> so many guides. I know, I know. Uh, um, we have uh, uh, Aishvedia saying that also uh, someone who loves their work. So yeah. you have a lot of fans. Ah, that's, that's nice. Thank you. So getting yeah, up at watching so a stream at 10 in the morning that's true fans like thank you yeah. thanks guys awesome so yeah so uh, this is this when it comes to uh, organizing and designing in photoshop uh you have to so i i noticed a lot of guides yeah. so we can discuss about it in uh, xd because there yeah. is no guide but i noticed there is a great system that we can talk about yeah i will show you that uh you're working a lot with layers i, and do. I have uh, funny stories about layers in xd too okay that's good that's um, good I see uh, that. Uh, Gradients, a lot of gradients, uh, like for the background. Some grid stuff, uh, that which I know that XD is really good at. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to try and, and, and recreate this. Yeah, we can try. Yeah, I'll show you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, oh, I, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> I know, I know. I did prepare a little bit. <laughs> okay. So so, uh, so that's that's usually how I work in Photoshop. I'm not gonna, we're not going to dive too deep into that. But what I did, it's like a cooking program. It's like I cheated a little bit from home, right? I actually prepared... Uh, uh, some files here. Cooking uh, let's. We're gonna cook. Uh, let's let's just uh, let's we'll just sort of do this, right? I I, I made a um, made a, a, a folder called Anoop tries XD, <laughs> right? So yeah. <laughs> so and we have we some of the, the title of the video after it. Yeah, yeah. Anoop tries XD. We don't it's say like live UX design with my no no no, no 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 no. So for noobs. anyways, here's a bunch of things that that we might you know use. I, I exported awesome, yeah, it. Uh, some PNG files. Um, and I am going to open Adobe XD. Yeah, we show you also how you can export from XD. I think you okay. will really like it. Yeah. Well, I mean, so I'm just going to guess some stuff here as we go along. Okay. I'll try to put some words to why I'm choosing the tools that I'm choosing, and then uh, we'll see what comes of it, right? But I'm, I'm guessing we're going to have a web interface. Yeah. That's nice. It's sort of an artboard that's already created for me. Yeah, so you will see it's very uh, centered on artboards. Yeah. I'm I'm assuming that I can just sort of yeah pull down. Yeah. It shows me the folds in. Yeah. Uh, so okay. the fold is to enable like when you will be in a, uh, the preview mode in prototype, you will be able to scroll. That's cool. Yeah. So it's more than just showing where is the fold. Yeah. It's to enable scrolling if you share the prototype with someone okay. who needs to review your design. Yeah. I'll jump back into Photoshop just because I, I kind of what I need is the color for this thing. Can I? Mm -hmm. Can it? Does it support hex colors? Fill, I'm assuming. I want the background. Yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. Does it support Higgs colors? Who's this guy? And uh, I think we noticed also, like, if you want to use the color picker, yeah, you can directly pick on Photoshop. See what I mean? Like, if you op if you speed your screen, oh the yeah, color okay. picker will go on side. I could, yeah, okay, okay. I could, I could this go could there. Be a yeah, trick, yeah, though. that could, okay. Um, I want so that's the background. I want to try to create this uh, gradient here in the top. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna sort of try to. Pick this, yeah, this get color here. Use. I'm assuming that I'll I'll use this tool maybe as you like. So you can also create a bag. Oh, this is just for the header. So yeah, yeah, it's just you're for you're the doing the it right. Okay, I'm doing it right. This oh, there's gradients here, right? Yeah, that's nice. Uh, and I guess so you can see the two values. Okay, which one is which? Yeah, one? and I can I can I can do that. Mm -hmm. And then I guess this one yeah. I could uh, you know I, I'm just gonna 
that's transparency, right? Yeah, exactly. The alpha okay. channel. That's nice. Okay, and this. Well, well, I'm just. I'm gonna get used to. What is the shock? That's V. Okay. Yeah, that's V. Okay. I want. So I just wanted to see. Okay, this is the. Oh, that's the. Oh, that's nice. That's the yeah. gradient. Oh well. Okay, I just undid the whole thing. <laughs> I thought it would, I would just undo the last action. Let me just do this again, mm -hmm. real quick. It's interesting to see how you discover these tools too. Oh, I just lost on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Johannes Weber is talking about uh, file rev, like revision five final final only final last one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you, you all know. Uh, we all do yeah. it. It's like rev. Well, I never write final. Only as a joke. It's like <laughs> rev five, rev six, rev. I just wanted to. Ch ch oh, yeah. So maybe something like that. Looks so that good. gives us the the gradient. Oh yeah, yeah okay. Now yeah, I have to v. learn V. Yeah. V. Okay. Okay, that's um, good. That's pretty cool. And uh, we're gonna put in some. Um, let me just hide this here in the background so we don't. Oh wait, oh, wait. yeah, yeah sorry. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I am going to pull in the. And if you are just joining us, so we are live from Awards in Berlin. Thanks for watching on Behance, and uh, we are with Michael Flarup. I'm guessing I'll Photoshop just Photoshop expert, and we are playing XD for the <laughs> almost the first time, the <laughs> second time actually, the second time it's launching XD. A complete noob in XD. Okay, so I'm I'm putting in the logo, and um, I thought that I'd try. I'm gonna add some text underneath this thing here. Okay, with the text tool. The okay. text tool. Choosing the text tool. Whoops. So there are two ways. Yeah. So I will show okay. you. Okay. It's a. Uh, and where did it's I? It's not exactly like Photoshop. Did it disappear? Like my text layer that I created? It's not. It's only there if I put something in it. Exactly. Right? Otherwise, okay. it will remove it. So it's here you're cool. creating a text block. D definitive version. Okay. I'm gonna do a fill. It's gonna be white. Mm -hmm. That's the appearance of that. Um, I'm gonna choose. I know that the. Yeah, you the can font start that we use is we okay. That's that's definitely better than Photoshop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Photoshop. This is I something we added in Photoshop, but yeah. just a few versions ago. Yeah, but I love Photoshop, but the font handling is wonky yeah, sometimes. It's a huge we, we all I we agree. all know. Um, that's too much. Hi, Flora. Thanks for joining. So mm. Adobe XD, uh, it stands for Experience Design. It's really one of the newest app available in Creative Cloud. You can try it for free on xd.adobe.com. So we're going to do that, and then there's uh, we had sort of a we had some Mac, Windows, Steam. I'm sh can I just can I just drag multiple? Oh, that's yeah, nice. Here, yes. And you see, you are <coughs> about to drag it on a rectangle, and then it behave like it would have a, the risk is that it behaves as a placeholder. Yeah. And place the image inside, so this is not what you wanted. So you did the right move. Uh, you can also lock objects if you want to lock the gradients just with a common L. Okay. Uh, L? Uh, no, so if you select the oh, command your L. gradient behind. Select like that. Uh, so you locked everything now, like yeah. the three of them. Yeah. And to unlock them, there is a, a nice Whoop. feature which is uh, you can just click, you see, the lock. Oh. Or you can do command L, but, but if you That's want to nice. lock this one because you keep uh, selectioning it, yeah. command L, and now it's locked. Yeah. Also, uh, I can see that I'm, to I'm totally resizing PNGs here, so that we're getting a little bit of uh, oh yeah, but that's, that's but, uh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, okay, so so what I wanted to try was I wanted to try to see if because the thing that we have on the website is that we have um, we have those three top things here, right? Mm -hmm. So I wanted to see if I can just, I mean, in Photoshop, I would uh, I would just create them by hand, like just put them in, do the exact same thing. But I, I, I was wondering, I mean, I'm, I'm, can, can I group this? And can yeah. I come in G. Can I, okay, and I can copy, copy and paste this stuff? Yeah. So it will paste in the same position. That's nice. It's not like Illustrator where you have to have Command F to no. paste in the same position. It always pastes in the, in the same position. You can also press uh, Option key and just start dragging, you know, to uh, duplicate. Oh, like, uh, like in Photoshop. Like in Photoshop. Okay, okay, let's just try that. Here we go. Oh, nice. And then it should. Uh, okay, it's not going to be exact here, guys. Uh, it should show you like, uh, yeah, here. You know, it it, there. it should show you that you have the same um, margin between the three elements. Okay, yeah. so I want to try something here. We're going to the augmented reality, right? The augmented. Uh, Sam Freeman is asking: Is there XD published to live HTML site? Uh, 
the mobile sensation. So, so Sam, what you can do with XD, and uh, actually we can try at the end once we have a page ready, is uh, you have uh, three stages. So the first one you design, so that's what he's doing. Then you can have multiple artboards, and with the prototype view, you connect the artboards. And you say, if I click here, I want to jump to this screen. And then you can publish and share. So you, it will create a web experience that you can share with anyone. They don't have to, and you share the link, they don't have to be XD users. And they can add comments, they can actually pin and say, okay, this logo, maybe uh, we should try to center it, this type of stuff. But I wanna, we, I wanna we try show to show the full experience. Uh, I wanna show something fun, because this is what I wanted to try. Check my screen. Okay, so I just took the file that I know I'm gonna use and dragged it onto here. And I'm assuming that, yes. Okay, that's nice. That's really cool. Oh, yeah. So, so I it's sort of just switch out assets. So that's something that Photoshop doesn't do very well, mm. um, is, is sort of this interchangeability of assets. And I have the same thing for this. And I'm assuming that I could, can I use? Yeah, I can. Same, okay, same shortcuts. Yeah, so you have there. the shortcuts. If you press uh, five, it will uh, change the opacity to 50%, six to 60%. So it's That's a very nice. easy way to, yeah. You can do it for multiple yeah. objects. Multiple objects, yeah. select multiple objects, yeah. This is the, the designer's cheat codes for, uh, <laughs> for, for making uh, things unselected, it's just 50% opacity. Um, okay, so that, that actually pretty quickly gave us sort of the menu recreated, right? Sort of. Um, so Vishwesh is asking, uh, I think we won't have a challenge this session. So today there is no daily change, although we will do uh, random giveaways. We will give away the XD socks. Back tomorrow because tomorrow we will have uh, a free giveaway, something free for all of you, and uh, special announcements about XD. So make sure to be back tomorrow. We'll be back at the same time, uh, 10 a.m. Central Time. I'm loving these guys. Oh, look. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the smart guys. Yeah, are smart guys. So, are so really, fast, you know, really, really cool. Expensive. And yeah. also, what I'm really liking is sort of the contextual menu out here on the, the right hand oh, side. I, I want that in Photoshop. <laughs> like, oh, it, once you select an element to have yeah. the. Directly the properties. Yes, like exactly. I think right mm. now in Photoshop, it's it's very static. You set up your workspace, and it's always like that, right? Yeah, interesting. But this is kind of like an intelligent assistant, right? It shows you, hey, you can use these things, right? Anyways, um, so that's sort of the, the the top menu. These might have gotten a little too big, but uh, it's fine. And then we have some text. Just gonna try. Okay, so it kind of tells me. Yeah, the center of the center of the page. Yeah, because yeah. the, the first thing I, I was looking for is like, where where's the rulers? Where can I pull in more guides? Yeah. As you saw, I kind of like guides. So no ruler, no guides. Uh, yeah. there is a grid though. So yeah, if you what want. What happens if I tap out? So I kind of want to. Just gonna copy some text from. Oh yeah, it would be easier. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I can just. Okay. Oh, and it. it Hi, Ramiro from Islam. Thanks for joining. We'll do. I uh, kept some styles. You kept some styles, yeah. Uh, oh. I think it matched it with the previous style that you use in XD. Oh. So because your title, they were using uh, Cubano. Oh, of third, course. It it keeps it in memory. That's clever. Yeah. That's 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 good. Okay. Um. And I I, get, I have to remember to change the tool here. So, I kind of yeah yeah exactly. Kind of want to try that. We're just gonna take this text and paste it in. Yeah yeah. This is. Uh, I don't even know what this is. This is Futura. Someone is asking where is the ruler, so let me quickly oh. check, check something. It's like 20, and it's like that, and it's sort of a, a light blue. Okay. I think there's... Uh, Nice. Okay, so uh, I saw some uh, feature requests in the chat, so we just quickly uh, sh share my screen, and I want to show you how we are developing XD because it's very different from. Um, I'll keep working. From Photoshop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can keep working. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. Okay. So this is a website. It's called uh, adobexd.uservoice.com, and uh, we released this website since the very first beta of XD, and uh, everything is public, and this is where you can submit new feature requests, but also vote for existing feature requests. So someone was asking about uh, the ruler, and uh, I see that it's of course an ID that is already there. 
and uh, that has already uh, like 540 votes that is under review by the team. So you directly talk to the XD team, yeah. to the product managers. And uh, then a conversation can start. And the product manager is asking, okay, if guides and snapping guides are not enough with you, like what would be the other use case? Let's start the conversation. And then they try to explain why they need the rulers and uh, what would be the use case. And at some point they say, okay, we, need, okay, we, are, yeah. we are definitely working on this. Uh, someone was asking in the chat also a fixed element uh, that is also coming. I'm trying to understand what was the what was the exact keywords, but this is something that says that uh, the feature is uh, actually uh, uh, they, they are developing uh, this where you can have a fixed element on the page, and if you scroll, it's at oh, the okay. same position. Oh, that's nice, sort of an absolute position. Exactly. Yeah. So this is something that will uh, that is under development right now. So it means that it we release like an, an update of XD every month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've, it's I've noticed really coming very, very soon. And it, it must be hard, I mean, because let's realize how, how difficult this actually is because so many different people are coming from different tools and they're sort of imposing yeah. their, this is how I used to work with this, right? But that doesn't actually necessarily mean that it's, it's the best way to do it for everyone, right? So when you're trying to make a new design tool and there's a bunch of new design tools in these days, it's so tough, right? Because people have, they have loaded, like they're so loaded with pre-existing pre ways of working. Anyways, can we yeah. switch back can to my screen? Can we come back to uh, Michael? Because I want to go. show one thing that I think uh, that, that seems really, really cool. So what I want to do is I want to create this little, uh, which is going to, I don't know, I know I'm not creating all the assets here on the screen. I just want to jump to the, the, exist, yeah. the, the fun parts, right? So we have this sort of screenshot section on the website here where you can uh, see some, oh, nice. oh, yeah, the, the internet. Like a light box. Like, yeah. yeah, it's just a light box, right? But, but, the, nice. but it's nice. You have this little thing. It has rounded corners. And I'm like, that's got to be something that XD completely excels at, right? So let's just try, try out that. Um, so yeah, so the idea is that, yeah, you can create a placeholder. I'm creating like a box here. Yeah. And uh, th this is the rounded cornerness yes. of it all, right? Yeah, something like that, maybe. And you can directly, uh, you know, it's like uh, Illustrator, so you can directly. Oh, you can pull the in individual ones here. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Oh, yeah, and you can make even. And you can make individual like ones. a one, one odd one here. Yeah, like, there is actually a shortcut. Oh, here it's like this one. This one yeah. is weird. Okay, that's kind of cool. You can create some UI elements for that. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna go back. To, <laughs> we're gonna go back to this. Let's just. Uh, yeah, something. Wing like it here. Okay, so um, we ha we need to have a bunch of these, and in Photoshop, I would have sort of just copied the element and put it in here. Uh, but I noticed something cool in the demos of uh, of XD that I've seen, and that is that you can click this button, this repeat yeah. grid button, and click that, and you get these handles here. And you can sort of drag those out. There we go. Mm -hmm. That's very nice. And if it's like a little maybe. Maybe yeah. it's, uh, you can sort of you Here can change yeah. the the gutter the, mm -hmm. the gutter of it. Just gonna try something here, right? Something like that. That is that's cool. That's awesome. And so we want to put some content in here, and we saw before that we could. I, I save some screenshots out. It's like just basically pull them in, and it's, they're yeah. all grouped. But I think if you I can I select all of them, actually, what? just select the five and drag and drop on the first one. Here we go. Whoa. Yeah, that's cool, and that's okay. the same with text. So if you you can also use the repeat grid, like if you want to add a label, uh, a label yeah. on top of it, uh, so you can duplicate everything, like the, okay. the image and the label, and repeat yeah. it in the grid. And if you have a text file with uh, one label per line, okay. you, know, you can drag and drop it on the text, and it will populate the text through. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so that's so this huge time saver. That uh, is really grid, cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, we there's a bunch of other stuff that we could create, but I think this sort of gives a an overview. I wanted to jump right in and create a new artboard so that we could try out some of the yeah, interactions awesome. and the, the stuff. And people are asking about the layers. Yeah, where's so, the layers? So where are the layers? <laughs> so if you press L, like nothing happens. Sorry, if you press Command L, nothing happens. So that's just in my head, I think. But it's here. Oh, Command, oh, command y. y. Oh my God. Okay. So so it's a panel. So what we wanted to avoid uh, with uh, what's happening with Photoshop is that when you open the layers panel in Photoshop, you see the layers for everything, you know? Yeah. Uh, so imagine if at some point you have, uh, I know, like uh, 20 or 50 artboards. Yeah. It would be a huge amount of layers. So yeah. Yeah, I these know. are contextual layers. So if you select this artboard, you will only see oh. here. And, and then you have the groups. So even these icons, everything has been redesigned 
uh, you can lock here, you can hide, like everything has been redesigned here. And you see the type of layer. So here you know it's a text layer. Okay. But for uh, <laughs> like all the first uh, versions of XD had no layer. And you could and you could handle uh, you can do stuff like can you, you can reorder you can reorder and you could also you can rename uh, can you option drag in here to create a uh, uh, to duplicate yeah to, to duplicate that's uh, what I do, I do that that's most that's half of my job uh, okay. duplicating layers in Photoshop I would do command D uh, top and uh, and then you can move you it can around. move it around yeah okay and I can just delete it like that awesome okay let's go ahead and create a new artboard oh Mikael has six hundred thirty artboards in one single project Whoa. yeah. Yeah. That's quite impressive. But should, let us know if it works uh, well, because in terms of performance, it should behave very good, especially with the last release that we updated like three weeks ago. Performance is just uh, great. Can I, can I duplicate an entire artboard? Yeah, OK, so remove this one. You yeah. can delete this one. Select your artboard and do Command D. Here we go. Oh, that's nice. And if you put it on the side, I mean, it's super cool. So, because that that really helps me. Bruno sort of says there is no need to touch on the layers panel. Yeah, I use the layers panel really for very complex uh, uh, objects, such as a repeat grid inside a repeat grid. So, sometimes I get lost, and I, I use the layers panel to select uh, an element. But usually, I don't use it. I mean, the, this is pretty cool. You can just sort of drop in stuff. Yeah. So conduct AR. Boom. That's that one, and deluxe goes to gray. Uh, this one is like and change the, opa oh, whoops. Yeah. the opacity of yeah, this one. Yeah, I grouped them. Change the opacity of this one. Those three. Yeah, you can double click to go inside the group yeah, and yeah, after yeah. select. And these ones need to be 100%. I mean, it's it's nice that that there's some consistency though between the <laughs> shortcuts. That makes it a little easier for someone so like me to jump in. Natalie is asking. Uh, can you add interaction and animated transitions? Yes. Yeah, so yeah. we will show you like in a few minutes. But first, we need to create several artboards. But yeah, definitely. First, first of all, let me just. It is kind of embarrassing, but I'm I'm in Photoshop now, and this is how I have multiple. I, I sometimes use artboards in Photoshop, but mostly when I do mobile, and I, okay. I kind of I, I I need that. But but for websites, honestly, I just have I just have a bunch of of folders. So you know, yeah, I, I just of sort of change between these things oh, here. Interesting. Um, so you group all the layers. I, yeah, I group all that. I try to keep it keep it somewhat. I mean, you can see how you know. I try to keep it yeah, somewhat. It's very organized. Uh, it's somewhat organized. That's good. But, That's uh, good. I respect yeah. that. Yeah. I'm just gonna we're gonna try this real quick. And if you are joining us and watching us, make sure to be on behance.net slash live and to sign in in the chat and say hi, let us know where you're from, because we will randomly pick someone in the chat in a few minutes to give away XD socks and XD notebooks. So very cool XD giveaways, and we will just uh, ship them to your place. So Can I have some XD socks? I can ship you some XD socks. Ship me some I want that Especially for my in collection. Denmark, I guess it's very yeah. cold, no? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'll just have multiple layers of, of <laughs> XD socks. Um, I want to change the whole background. That's that's there. Okay. Ah, uh, you change the color. Okay. Yeah, just nice. kind of change the color. I just wanted to try the. Ex uh, to, we're not going to do all of it, right? But we're just going to try to change. What what am what am I using here? I'm sort of using a lovely tan. Hmm. Nice. And okay. here you can add it to a color swatch. You know, like once you do stuff like this. What? Oh. Like yeah. this? Just oh press. yeah, you can have like yeah, a little. Just if you want to keep a reference. That's nice. Yeah. That's nice. Uh, and it's explosive augmented reality. Whoops. Nice. Like that. And just sort of copying. I want to play this game now. In Look, reality. all the conduct games, all three of them, they're amazing. Cool. Go try them out. Um, Hi, Grant from South Africa. Awesome. I guess the weather is fine now in South Africa. Let us know, Grant. Yeah, how's the weather it's in South Africa? It's quite chilly in Berlin, but it's, it's nice. I walked around Berlin it's yesterday sunny. for hours. Oh, it was so cold. It was nice. Yeah, it yeah, was it's cold. Uh, but beautiful, but yeah. very, very cold. Anyways, OK, so this is what I, I wanted to end up here. So we have sort of two versions of the, the same website nice. here. Um, real quick. I mean, it's not bad, too bad. This is, this is literally the second time I opened this application. I just sort of. No, no, Intuitively, it was yeah. pretty easy to, no, uh, to get. It's very easy to run. Yeah. Super easy to run. Um, and uh, now I want to see if I can add sort of a transition back and forth between these okay. two things. So you see, you have two workspaces. So you are in the design workspace. Yeah. You can switch to prototype one. I'm, gonna, I'm in prototype now. And, and I can, can select anything like okay. this. Okay. Yeah. And I just drag this to, yeah. to this artboard. 
and uh, you choose a transition. Someone was asking. So for web stuff, usually we use Dissolve. Yeah. Let's, use, let's go with Dissolve for now. Yeah. And then... Uh, and you want to come Oh, back actually, maybe. this is wrong. Uh, this, this, this shouldn't go there. This, oh, one, this, should, one, should this go. one should go yeah, there. Good job. Yeah. And uh, Dissolve. And, cool. Yeah. And this uh, one should... And Deluxe. How, how do I... Oh, it's over there. Yeah. <laughs> this one goes there. Okay, so that's sort of the most basic interaction between those yeah, two, right? Let's try it. Let's try it. And so I if you go to the left, I will just show you something. Okay. This little icon yeah. tells you that this will be the first screen okay. displayed in the prototype view. Cool. So if you want to run the prototype, you have the A play, play, button. play button. Okay. There you go. And I click, oh. Yeah, and that's it. Like, that's nice. That's nice. That's so that's, nice. That, that's the first uh, step. This yeah. one is just for you. Uh, if you uh, design... Uh, Cool, cool team, cool. Okay. Getting secret messages okay, over team. here. So we have a winner. Someone in the chat actually just won the XD Socks and the notebook. And this is Karina Oswald. Okay, congratulations, Karina. Woo. Cool. So uh, team, uh, our, the team will contact you on Behance. And uh, yeah, congrats, Karina. Team, I will just ask you to keep track of the winners, of course. Congratulations yeah. on, your, on your new and socks. And stay tuned. There will be more giveaways during the day. Just be here. And Karina, let us know where you're this. from and if you need socks. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you're happy. Oh, she says, yeah. Okay. Oh, so okay. I guess she's happy. <laughs> and actually, um, maybe I can check. Because sometimes on Behance, they share where they're from. Uh, oh, she's from Germany. Perfect. So we know it's cold there. Okay. So it's perfect. You can just come by and pick them up here. Yeah, just come <laughs> <laughs> Take a train. Yeah. <laughs> This is really nice. So, so yeah, what I was mentioning is that if you uh, create the mobile version, yeah, you can do also a live preview directly on the mobile. Okay. So you just use a USB cable. Yeah. You plug your iPhone or your Android uh, smartphone. Yeah. And you launch. Uh, there is a free XD app on mobile to have the live preview. Okay. And you make sure that the text uh, size is good enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can click. So that that's nice. It's nice. Okay. Okay. So that's the first uh, stage of. I'm closing the type. preview. Oh, something cool also. Uh, if you go back to the premium mode, yeah. let's say you want to uh, to create a video. Yeah. If you want to talk to the web designer or the web developer who will have to create this, yeah. you can also record a video. Ah, oh, nice. So you click here and it will show your finger and see, oh, okay, yeah. so if you go here and I can scroll down. Can you attach comments to this sort of stuff and sort of oh, have a dialogue? Not the video, but sort of the prototype in a way. It's just an MP4 oh, yeah. file. So, so, for, so that's, uh, yeah, and you save the file and you can add your voice after with audition. Okay. If you want to attach comments, so you will have to publish the prototype. Oh. So let's Now try. it's getting exciting. And you can allow comments. Okay. Maybe give a title so it doesn't... Yeah, it's like... So it's not untitled. Conduct. Untitled is very like, uh, it reminds me of... Uh, abstract painters you know <laughs> when you go you visit a museum yeah. and you say it's untitled, untitled 17 yeah okay so now it will upload all the assets to creative cloud okay and uh, create a website so depending on the connection it will uh, just take a few minutes hey, uh, what kind of format available in video it will create an mp4 uh, method I don't understand why congratulate Karina. It's a good point, Bogdana. She didn't do anything, but she was watching us, you know, and she was in the chat. She said something. That's all we ask. And uh, th just it's good to be here. OK, so let's open the link in the browser. So this is a link that you can email to uh, anyone, your business partners uh, or users. Also, if yeah. you want to do some user testing. Yeah. And here there is a comment category. Nice. So they can scroll and everything. And can they draw on and stuff? <laughs> no, you cannot draw. Okay. But if you sign in with your uh, Creative Cloud, yeah. then you can write a comment and say, this comment, I want to pin it to this. Oh, so you okay. say, this comment so, is so you could, And you can comment as a guest, right? Oh, yeah, apparently. It's just like oh, that's client. New. That's new. I'm, I'm discovering a, a new feature. I'm not a robot here. Submit. You know, like, <laughs> I hate this. Yeah, and then Make you it bigger. Ah, uh, that's a good comment. Yes. This happens all the time. And then, oh, wait, oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. Okay. So do another one. This is nice. Oh, was, uh, no, oh, this is it's also fast. nice. Don't kick. Okay. okay. <laughs> and then you pin it and you say, sorry. Uh, like this. You like yeah, this. Yeah, I like that one. Okay. So it will show you, you know, that this one, one. Oh, okay. And you can reply and you can resolve. Yeah. That's cool. So like, that's cool. Yeah. Go away. Awesome. 
that's cool. I mean, that's a, a different layer of what I'm used to. Um, Hi, Justin. Thanks for watching. So, yeah, and also if you update the prototype, yeah. so if you go back to XD, yep, you can just say uh, update. Oh. Okay. So, so it won't change your URL. You don't have to send it again. So people know. can just check it, yeah. basically. Yeah. That's that's right. nice. That's a nice level of collaboration on things. Yeah. And uh, okay. what else? What's good is that in the same project, you can create the mobile version. So you're, n you're not limited to one size of artboard. Okay, so I, I could, I so could sort of go into design, create yeah, an so artboard. And here you can, and here you can choose iPhone. like an iPhone and here we go. 10. That's cool. And I could copy in elements. and Exactly. If you want to create a tablet experience, it's yeah. the same. Uh, smartwatch, it's yeah. the same. That's, and, uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah I, I mean, I like the fluidity of things. It's, it's really fast, faster yeah. than what I'm used to. Um, that's no, that's cool. the point. It's just to have a yeah. tool where you can... I can imagine like design. having like a, a million yeah. artboards here. And cool. Okay, but uh, um, no no layer styles, no blending modes. No, no blending modes. So you for want. you, it's tough. You, yeah, so yeah. You, you still need to uh, keep using Photoshop. Yeah, really to design this type of uh, yeah. like logos, uh, amazing logos. Yeah, you have some uh, drawing tools, but for um, very uh, like to create an icon. Yeah. So maybe we can try to uh, let's try to do uh, maybe you can try to do the Steam logo. Yeah. Okay. okay. I will change you. Okay. To totally live New designing here. So, can I just I'll just do it in whatever artboard? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, we'll do it right here next to the Steam logo. Okay, so I'm assuming that I can just use these tools to hold down Shift to make sure that yeah. it's okay, no border. And uh, just to give you a tip, there is a, a kind of a pathfinder, so you can. Uh, oh, so you can uh, subtract yeah. shapes from exactly. each other. Yeah. Okay, let's just try that. We're gonna zoom in real. Uh, Philip is asking, do the comments stay if you update your prototype? So I'm not sure, Philip. I think so. Yeah. And also, even if you say uh, resolve, everything is archived, so you never lose a prototype. You can go back in time and say, okay, this is what they said. Yeah. And Emmanuel didn't know about pinning comments. Yeah, this is something they added, and that's what I like with XD is that even like uh, adding a comment as a guest, I had no idea. So I just discovered this new feature, which is great. Totally trying to cheat my way through this here. Uh, no live preview on recall on Windows. Yeah, so th for the recall on Windows, uh, that's one of the only features we don't have. It's because on Mac, we're using QuickTime, which is native, and that can enable a screen uh, recording. So how do I subtract two elements from each other, for example? OK, so have you created the yeah. two shapes? There's a shape inside the shape. Yeah, so these are the Pathfinder oh, tools. Oh, right. Awesome. Hey, hello. And can I edit it now too? Yes. yes. So it's non-descriptive. That's why I wanted to show you. Yeah, yeah. Is That's that cool. That you can have like multiple. Oh, look at that! Look at that little. Look, it yeah. says five, five, four, four. I can see that I'm wrong. I, my eye tells it, and wow. the, the numbers ah, and actually tells. Now. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's gonna it's gonna be wrong. It's live. Yeah. <laughs> Let's make it wrong. Let's make it wrong. Um, I'm just sort of trying this thing out here. What? what Constantly forget that I have to choose the selection tool. Oh, interesting. Can I can I actually edit the, these shapes with the pen tool? Like, can I? Oh yeah. So to edit the shape, oh, you can. Uh, I think you need to double click first. Like, whoops. If you select the V, yeah, and double click, double click, yeah. At oh, some point. Oh, okay. We can go. pull them. Yeah, okay, you that's can nice. pull them. If you double click on, uh, I will show you after. Okay, okay. Because it will destroy everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't destroy anything. Um, I'm just gonna. Whoops. See, I wanna. Yeah, I have. It's because I have that. Okay. So can I can I merge all these layers together? Yeah, let's try with the merge. Oh yeah, of course. Here we go. Let's just. Uh, can I? I can't. Can I change uh, the yeah, fill? Change the color so we. Yeah, I just want to see. Yeah. It's beautiful mm -hmm. red. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's got a. It's an approximation, guys. It's. Uh, uh, Rosalie is asking, can we export XD in Illustrator or Photoshop? Uh, it's a good question, Rosalie. So we will cover the export features right after. It's a very good question. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna try this thing here. That's kind of nice. 
It's yeah. not that it's not, the, not the prettiest Steam logo I've ever seen, I mean, but it's uh, yeah. when it would be small, so yeah, yeah, it's not bad. It's but it's it, and it's an I mean it's that's pretty advanced uh, sort of. It's cool, huh? yeah. It's fast. It's, it's very fast. And uh, so what is nice? I will show you something. That's cool. I have vector version of it. Uh, yep. There is a another panel. So there is the layers panel, mm -hmm. and there is the asset panel. So if I oh. select this, okay, just make it here so we yeah. can. Uh, you can create. Um, a new symbol. Okay, and now it becomes green here. Okay, so if I use the symbol like on a another page, another yeah, multiple pages, and I make a better version of it. Yeah, here we go. Then you can choose to uh, zoom in and uh, okay, let's do it here and edit this symbol. Yeah. So let's say we are we want to change it. Uh, it will oh, change it everywhere. Nice in the page. I mean, this is obviously geared towards like bigger teams, yes. distributed teams working with a lot of different assets, and that's really uh, cool. Same with the textiles. Okay, so I guess you're using the same here and here, yeah. right? Okay, so now if I say edit the textile, and I want to uh, change the color, it Ooh. will change it everywhere. That's cool. You come and see. And uh, same with colors. So. This is something that is really, in my opinion, missing in Photoshop, the concept of global colors. Yeah. And this is due to how Photoshop has been designed. Like they, There is nothing to do about it. Uh, but if we take, uh, let's say, this blue, yeah, and put it as a global color. Mm -hmm. And again, I will just, sorry, duplicate it here. Yeah. And I did the color. And uh, maybe we can create a... Uh, just to show you a circle that has also this color. Mm. Like all the elements on the page that yeah. are using this color now, if I change the color, it would change everywhere. Yeah, that's really cool. Particularly if you have like a ton of screens for an app or something like yes, that, you, you'd be able to point. try out stuff without having to. That's a pain in Photoshop. That's a pain in Photoshop because you would have to change it in all the yeah, screens. Exactly, exactly. But does it does it have anything like um, like smart objects, kind of like where you can scale stuff? Across that, that's I, I do. Um, oh. I work with uh, with a lot of. I don't know if you know, but I I, do, I work with a lot of uh, resources, particularly for Photoshop and for a couple of other applications. And I, I have these icon templates, for example, that rely heavily on scaling things in smart objects. Okay. So um, so I run this 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 is my plug. Uh, and um, and I use that a lot from Photoshop, where you sort of have a, a nested object, basically. That's I guess it's kind of like that, but I couldn't have multiple instances of the same thing scaled, right? Uh, okay, so tricky question. If you come back tomorrow, yeah, okay. So I'm not authorized to speak about something <laughs> today. But if you come back tomorrow, I would be authorized to. Oh, so it's a teaser. If you come okay. back tomorrow, are we sure? Uh, yeah, I hit a sore spot there. Yeah, so some upcoming features. Upcoming feature okay. that I can uh, that you can't talk, talk about, about right now. Tomorrow, but I'm looking today. forward to to that. Yes, don't ask yes. me why. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that because that's something that I, I would be using a lot. I really like okay. that. Um, yeah, but tomorrow, yeah, we'll uh, unveil uh, something coming in next day that is quite amazing. Nice, nice. Um, what, uh, yeah, someone was asking about exporting. So oh, yeah. something really nice. You can select all your artboards. And do common E for export, mm -hmm. and all export all of them directly in a PNG, SVG, PDF, or JPEG. Okay. And if you say a JPEG, you need to or a PNG, you need to tell uh, it's for the web. If you design at 200 person on 100 person, mm. it will directly export and scale everything for you. Okay. If you do for Android, again you tell I was nice. designing as 400 person, yeah. and it will export everything. Yeah. I mean it's it's obviously very vector based, and I know. The, the, yeah. the, I mean, what we've d essentially done here is pulled in a bunch of PNG files, so that's not going to be super awesome. But uh, And also, you can uh, select anything on the page, like just this element, and do Command yeah. E, and export just this one. Okay. So, and uh, if you export to SVG, someone was asking, then you can import it in Illustrator. So that's cool. You have a lot of very cool. Uh, it bridges. wouldn't really help you here, though, because that's no. an, a PNG <laughs> element. But uh, that's and nice. Can, can I just drag, dra dra drag in an SVG and then it becomes a shape? Yes. Can directly. I copy a shape from Photoshop into? Uh, from Photoshop, uh, you can copy SVG and paste uh, it here. Okay. Okay. Illustrator, you copy paste. Okay, you could copy paste from Anything. Illustrator. Yeah. 
That's nice. Um, I'm still missing. I mean, I know I'm an old dog, like visual design stuff, but I'm missing like uh, blending options and layer uh, styles. Yeah. No, and for like, your style, you need to yeah. continue creating the elements in Photoshop for yeah. sure. But then when it comes to uh, creating the UI, prototyping everything, yeah. you can be, I think, very... Very quick, very yeah. fast in a... It would be kind of fun yeah. to... You could prototype UI... For, and this is my world, but you could prototype UI for games, maybe and see if it yeah. sort of worked out well. And, and do some proposals. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So if you sign in... Oh, okay, we need to sign in here also. But we have this new UI design specs. Maybe I can show it later with other guests. But now you can also um, publish from XD uh, a web experience mm. that will tell a designer... Uh, what typeface you're using, what is the font size, oh, nice. what is the space between this logo and this logo. Yeah. Uh, so uh, in this case, uh, they will have to use a CSS, HTML, yeah. but they will get all the information to be able to build the page okay. without opening your file. That's cool. So that's, yeah. That's Getting closer and closer to where I can just click a button and just pushes a website out of this. <laughs> yeah, so it would be a static page. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'm not sure it's really uh, useful today. No, no, no. Uh, but uh, I mean, yeah. There's some not? people that worked really hard at that, at that issue, even for apps and stuff. And the, uh, yeah, so today there is no option CSS to HTML export, someone is saying. Uh, we did a bridge with uh, Zeppelin. So I don't know if you know Zeppelin. It's a platform also to oh, yeah. publish design specs. Yeah, I know. And now from XD, you can export to Zeppelin. And Zeppelin has a lot of capabilities. So if you are a Zeppelin user, this is something you can use now. Uh, that's cool. So yeah, that's cool. Tracing objects, no devil. If you want to trace objects into vectors, you still need to use Illustrator. Illustrator. OK, Michael, I, yeah. we have uh, two minutes left. Any questions? So, Anything? I mean, the, the, and that they were was all a, entering your demo. I saw like uh, <laughs> that was a noob tries XD. It wasn't very in depth, but we actually made something. And I know we we took. I mean, we relied heavily on Photoshop here, but that's because that's kind of my style yeah, and, and what I do. And, and that's the case of a lot of users. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so you're gonna have a lot of people coming. I think from it Photoshop. was uh, yeah. Thank you because it was really great to see how a Photoshop user yeah. could uh, approach XD and you. You understood all the ba basics like in 24 hours, so yeah. that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's really awesome. Uh, that's that's nice. I mean, I would say though that I'm 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 looking forward to the the, the announcements tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow. Uh, but but if you only use this to design, you would gonna you're gonna get a bit of sameness yeah. in design. There's gonna be a lot of designs that look similar because you're still a little limited in some of the things, right? But that's just the the old visual designer talking. Um, I think I'll probably never quite leave Photoshop. It's like the love of my life. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it, but it's, it is that. really cool. Yeah, <laughs> but it is it is really cool. And I can definitely see how this this has some some benefits for bigger teams and for people yeah. who mostly work in vector and makes that type of you know UI the the UI kit or the material design from Google or stuff like that. That's uh, that's pretty uh, simplistic cool. and minimalistic. Thanks, Michael, again yeah. for joining us. It was awesome. Thanks for having me. And uh, stay tuned. We will be back in about uh, five minutes with uh, Studio Adoratorio, which is one of the cutting edge agency uh, based in Italy. But they are here at Awards and they, did, they created also the Awards website. Make sure to follow Michael on social. I'm at Flaup. That's my last name. Flaup. F L A R U P. Yeah. Thanks, <laughs> everyone. And uh, see you in five minutes on Behance.net slash live. Yeah. Bye.